Hi guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jada. What's good? What's up? What's poppin'? Today, I'm gonna be doing another baking baked video since that one did so fucking well. You're probably like, Jada, what are you sitting on? Oh, this? This little thing? <laughs> Nothing crazy, just my therapist couch. I have my Pluma Especial today, so we're switching it up. And in case shit gets too wild, I have my little CBD buddy. How many hits will it take to get Jada suited? I guess we about to find out. I know I look like I don't sleep. These are my eyes, so. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. Deal with it. So we're gonna make one cookie today. Well, I'm gonna make, you're gonna watch. Live vicariously through me. Bam. One cookie today. Nobody likes the cookies that I make, which is really sad, but that means more for me and more to get thick. It's like 1 20 a.m. I put some topics in a mason jar because I'm an aesthetic ass bitch. You know how it is. As always, baby, timestamps in the description box if you want to skip around. I have my cookie platter, some spray. I don't have spray, never mind. Sugar cookie dough, pre-made, and some cinnamon. <laughs> Damn, he thick. <laughs> no, please! I have three kids! Alright, I'll make a pretty chunky boy. Or girl, we don't discriminate the sexes around here. All about equality in this household. We'll just roll it out. Good timing. Some cookie ASMR for you guys. This isn't even sped up. This is the real. She's really good. These are my real hands. There. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so lonely. Pour some cinnamon. Yep, yep. Let's roll it in it a little bit. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Let me make this a little more visually pleasing for you. Get that boy all cinnamon up. Fuck it. Get him a little bit. Even a bad cookie dough has. Wow, 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 he's a very nice. <laughs> yes. <sighs> I think it only needs 10 minutes. But, I don't know, I'm excited for that fat boy. This one's future me manifesting. So you guys could see my handwriting. I want to be more confident in my videos and have a lot more skills. Like hopefully by then I can learn how to do animation. So a bunch of things in ways that I want to level up my equipment and my production. The types of videos that I really, 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 really want to do are bucket list videos and travel vlogs. Travel the world and check things off of my bucket list and just film that experience. My point is that I would want to make that experience for myself for you guys and to let you know that like I'm just a fucking like small town kid who just decided that she didn't want to go with what everybody else wanted for her she just wanted to do what she wanted to do and she went after it and actually accomplished it and I feel like that's really powerful that like if I could do it then anyone could do it anyone could go after their dreams anyone could like do that thing that sparks them that joy really going after what you want in this life I want to give that feeling to other people through my videos we have to follow our intuition and follow our gut with what we feel like is right to do for us cookie time come here pretty lady I used to work at a daycare and when I did, my favorite room to work at by far was the infant room. We took babies from 3 months to 11 months. So fucking cute. They're the most pure versions of what we are in our essence, in our core, that you can ever come into contact with. No biases, no prejudices, no hate, it's just pure love. We literally come out the womb being, knowing, and seeking that love. I wrote quarantine blues. I think it's like super inevitable for quarantine to get to you and to make you sad, especially with everything that's going on in the world on top of the coronavirus. I really didn't think shit could get worse, but <laughs> this whole year has been a, oh, it can't get worse. And then like, it just gets progressively worse by like times 10. Some of the things that have been making me feel better during quarantine, I've been wearing clothes that make me feel confident, clothes that I feel like sexy and I feel cute in. This has really made a big improvement on the days that I 
if you dress up. I just feel good. I had this teammate in basketball and she used to say, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good. Because we would always make fun of her for putting on mascara before she played the games. We were like, why are you putting on mascara? There's no reason it's gonna get messed up. You shouldn't play with makeup. I think about what she says sometimes and I'm like, it's true. It's just been making me feel good about myself and making me feel good about my day. And I think just taking every day, day by day, instead of trying to look towards the future because I feel like now the future is just more uncertain than ever and it's kind of worrisome sometimes I just feel like is this even real life why is this all happening should I move to Switzerland that was an actual thought I had like 17 times today I should just move to Switzerland another thing that could help you feel better during quarantine is to have some sort of project that you're doing that you're working toward for me obviously my form of creation has been digitally through YouTube you could always pick up an art project or a puzzle it sounds lame but you never know what you actually might enjoy if you don't be so judgmental on different types of hobbies we should just take away all the judgment from things and just actually explore stuff and see if we really like it or not because just because nobody who looks like you does this certain thing finger painting or rock climbing i'm just making shit up right now can't think of another fucking example but my point is that you should just try things that you think that you might not even like and it might be your favorite thing in the fucking world like how many things have we not tried and then we try them and we're like like, how come I've never done this before? This is so great. Allow yourself to be. Listen, we're human beings. We're not human doings. We didn't come here just to do, do, do. We came to experience, to like be present, be in the moment and be connected to who we truly are and our intuition. I just think it's sometimes important to like not feel like you have to be on this crazy productivity rampage. I love being productive. I love getting shit done. I love checking shit off my to-do list. I love reaching goals. I'm that type of person, but at the same time, I understand that there's so much importance at also having that other energy of just completely relaxing or doing nothing or just being so that way you can cultivate that creativity because creativity can run out if you force yourself to overproduce it comes in waves and you just have to be willing to accept that wave of creativity when it comes those are my little tips tea just makes my brain feel good and it became my one of the only things that would calm me when <laughs> I used to have like extreme anxiety. My anxiety used to be like really fucking bad. I would literally have like anxiety attacks or like panic attacks once or twice a week. It was because of the job that I was in that I was like having those experiences. I would get so anxious that I literally had pain like in between my boobies. Really intense pain. It was like 24 seven. I felt like someone was inside of my chest area with a fist where my breath was coming in and out. It was like holding my breath hostage almost. My breath had to like slither through the openings in order for me to breathe. So every breath was kind of shallow. I felt like I could never really breathe. I know it sounds crazy, but that's really how I felt. I kind of like not knowing the topic before. Why I started YouTube. When I was in college, I never, okay, let's move it back a little bit more. This is gonna be a little bit long-winded, but stay with me here. Basically, when I was in elementary school and high school, I always had a built-in friendship group. And what I mean by this is, I did basketball for most of my life, so I always had friends through AAU, through rec, through regular season basketball. And because of this, I always had a built-in group of friends. But I realized as I got older, since I grew up in the same town and I went to high school in the same town, I never moved from five to now. I still have not moved out of this town. I always knew people, so I never really had to get to know people because I've always been here. I never really learned how to make friends. So when I got to college, that was something that was really, really fucking difficult for me. Like I didn't know how to make friends. I was just like really sad going to school and I was, I felt like going to school was something I didn't want to do. And so many things in my life that like I didn't want to do and I felt like I had to, like I was obligated to meet these expectations of everyone else and what everyone else wanted me to do, but I had never really stopped and considered what is it that I want to do? How is it that I feel about my life in this point and my future? Like, is this really the direction I want to be going in or is this the direction that everyone else thinks is good for me? 
So I kind of had that epiphany moment. I found YouTube and YouTube became my friend and that might sound sad to some, but it was really my way of getting close connections with people. It helped me through like a really hard and lonely time following different creators that I really care about that I still follow to this day. It really helped me be more positive and that was something that I really needed at the time. So I used to watch YouTube a lot, so it really influenced me and, and I felt like it changed my life for the better. Like it made me realize that I need to do what's right for me, not what everyone else thinks is right for me. Realized that and I was like, great, I'm gonna drop out of school and I did that. I still haven't been too successful at making a lot of friends, but I'm hoping in the future that's something that I'll be able to practice more when we're allowed to go out and stuff because I just want some homies, you know? I do have a few. I'm not like fucking have no friends, but I just want different types of friendships. I started YouTube because it was something that I needed in a really like a time of me struggling and I wanted to be that for someone else. I saw how lucrative it could be financially. My friend Danny, Danny if you're watching this i love you she's my only internet friend i've never had an internet friend before but we like met on bumble and then we just became homies we only met once like three years ago anyways danny was telling me that i should do youtube and then i was like fuck it if i get a sign like i'll do it because i've always i've always wanted to you know something that i wanted to do but i didn't really have that push i always say danny you're my muse because <laughs> She like, you know, helped me realize that that was something that I wanted to do. Then I got a sign and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it. So I decided April 1st will be my first video and that's when I posted it. And it's been like a year and a few months since. And I remember when I hit the year mark for my channel, I was just like, damn, like I really thought I'd be in a different place by now. But at the same time, I'm trying to remain grateful for every step of this journey that I'm at because I remember when I only had like 11 subscribers, all of these numbers you have to have in order to equal those big numbers. And I try to remember that sometimes that like everybody's been at this point who has a lot of subscribers now who's at that million mark already. They've all been here and it's like, I gotta pay my dues and be here too and like be grateful while I'm here. Why isn't my cookie coming off? It's because the spray wasn't working. Fuck. If you ever just do a thing and you just wish the thing was already done? I always feel like that. I bet you YouTube videos are gonna be used as like things that historians do to study human history because what better way to see humans and their natural element in their time period it's like a fucking time capsule all these videos when you think about it the camera quality the the way your house is set up you know how you talk how you speak how you act how you dress everything it's a time capsule so it's a really cool thing actually like years from now i'm gonna be able to see myself young and not knowing where life is gonna head but future me knows where i'm gonna be and it's like a crazy reflection experience i'll definitely make this a recurring series on my channel so if you fuck with this give it a thumbs up let your girl know because i'll make more videos like this if this is what you guys like to see subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this and yeah if you have any video suggestions leave it in the comments below i got a lot of fucking time to kill so let me know i'll make them if you're from tiktok hello welcome to my channel nice nice to meet ya thanks for watching the vid catch you in the next one have a good one my dude just have some good vibes you deserve them all right all right bye Sometimes I wish I could just do telekinesis. No, that's the wrong one. Not teleportation. Telepathy? No. Fuck. Which one is it? Telekinesis me. It is telekinesis. Don't doubt yourself, kids. Extra.